What is your next Pokemon? A Swallow. Hello. Um, Swallow, really, I can only use Kelly. So, uh, Aerial Ace, that's not good for me. Put you to sleep. Oh, I remember this battle. I lost them on because I couldn't hit this Swallow. I remember that now. It double teamed me. And I couldn't hit it for the life of me. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum All-Star Lockany. Last episode, we went to, uh, actually, we were in Floroma Town, and we took on the Valley Windworks. We defeated Team Galactic and their commander, Mars, who is uh, keeping a scientist hostage for some kind of information. We don't know what, but in today's episode, we are going to be going through the Eterna Forest. We are going to be taking on Cheryl, and uh, hopefully nothing bad's going to happen. However, I have a few concerns. Um... She starts off with a Drifloon. That Drifloon's moveset is Air Cutter, Ominous Wind, uh, Shockwave, and I don't know what its other move is. I think it's like Astonish or something. Air Cutter, like those moves alone, take out every single or like hits every single member of my team super effectively. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But anywho, before we start, we're going to do a quick little team recap. Starting off, we've got Kelly, the War Turtle, level 19, Relax Nature, the Torn Ability, Rock and Muddy Water, Yawn, Aqua Jet, and Bite. Then we got Moonflip, the Skip Bloom, level 19, Modest Nature, the Leaf Guard Ability, Rock and Air Cutter, Mega Drain, Elite Seed, and Poison Powder. Up next, we got Soda Pop, the Grotto, level 20, Quirky Nature, with the Shell Armor Ability, Rock and Bullet Seed, Bulldoze, Bite, and Curse. Then we got Lanny, the Ralt, level 19, Admin Nature, the Synchronized Ability, Rock and Side Beam, Draining Kiss, Dr Disarming Voice, and Magic Leaf. Then we got PC God, the Monferno, level 19, Admin Nature, the Iron Fist Ability, Rock and Flame Wheel, Mock Punch, Bulk Up, and Taunt. And finally, we got Mailman, the Natu, level 21, Modest Nature, the Synchronized Ability, Rock and Air Cutter, Confusion, Nightshade, and Ominous Wind. So, um, I was actually contemplating. You are definitely not going out. Uh, Mailman evolves in five levels. Um, but I was also contemplating if I should bring him in, but I feel like he'll get one-shotted by an Ominous Wind. So, our best bet is to go with Kelly. Um, because Shockwave is its only move that hits any of my mons super effectively that isn't Stab. So, it's kind of our best bet, and we're gonna have to hope for the best. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so you're Nick. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Nick, are you a strong Pokemon trainer? Sorry to be so sudden, but may we have a battle so I can test your strength? Okay, here we are. Um, I'm gonna level with you guys. The Drifloon could e easily sweep us. So, it's level 19, I know that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a modest nature, which is really not good. And right now, to be honest with you guys, my game plan is I'm going to yawn it. Hope that I can eat a shockwave. And as long as I can survive one shockwave, I'm fine. Because once it's put to sleep... Oh, I swallow that. That's actually perfect. Alright. Well, with that, then I'm going to just click bite and see how much a bite will do. But... Even with the high roll, we shouldn't die, so we should be fine. And as long as the Drifloon's asleep, we're perfectly fine. Alright. Well, fight. How much do you do? You actually do a decent amount. And now it's asleep. Now I just need it to stay asleep. While I heal up Kelly. And, uh, hopefully hit a Muddy Water. Alright, there we go. It's stayed asleep. Muddy Water almost kills, and I'm just gonna... Oh, you have a super question. Okay. Good to know. Um, Muddy Water one more time. It woke up. That's fine. And it almost kills. Can an Aqua Jet kill it? Aqua Jet does not kill it. Can you... We're gonna kill you. There we go. Alright, just make that make that easy. Get rid of... Like, deal with that. Alright. Now, Lanny's one level away from evolving. I'm very happy about that. Because once Lanny evolves, um, he'll be doing a little better as a Curlia. And hopefully we can go from there, and I'm hoping that we're not going to miss any fighting type moves if I wait until level 30 to evolve him into Gallade. But I'm going to click Mod Punch real quick. Um, I don't know what this thing has, but let's hope it doesn't have counter. Hyper Voice. Okay. I think actually its moveset is like Hyper Voice, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and like Soft Boil? Maybe? I think that's its moveset. But it's dead, so it's fine. 
Hyper Voice was actually kind of scary because it was Stab. But, Lanny's level 20. Lanny's gonna evolve now, and I'm very happy about that. And PZ God's now level 20 as well. Wilmer. Um, honestly, Soda Pop, we're gonna go into you. And we're just gonna click uh, Bullet Seed and hope for the best. Bullet Seed is gonna kill. Perfect. Alright, now, I know this battle wasn't that scary. It wasn't that bad. But that Drifloon had potential to take me out. And I'm pretty sure I had problems with it um, in the last time we, uh, in the Let's Play series that we were, or the Nuzlocke streams that we were doing. So, you know, we can never be too careful. There we go. We got Lanny evolving. I'm going to timestamp that. And now everyone has, everyone other than Mailman has evolved at least once. Um, Mailman will be the first to fully evolve, obviously. So, uh, him and probably. Uh, Skip Bloom. Him and Moonflip will probably evolve first. Out of everyone. Fully evolved, at least. Ah, uh, marvelous. Nick, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. From the battle we just had, I can see you're a strong trainer. I've heard that there are a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go with you? Alright, well... Alright, partner number one out of four, I believe. Now we have to... Uh, uh, watch after. I'm gonna put Moonflip up front. Now, I don't know if I want to, like, do all the battles as double battles, but we might do them all as double battles, just for the sake of it. <clears throat> just to see, you know, for the challenge. We're gonna see if the challenge, uh, if we're up to the challenge. So, a Surskin and a Baneri. That's actually perfectly fine. I'm gonna just air cutter that. Surskin's dead. Bapu beep. And we are great at this game. Obviously, we're gods. Sharply reducing its speed at. I don't really think I need to worry about that. Now, I could complete, be completely wrong, but we'll find out. But, I mean, this Chansey does indeed have Thunderbolt. So, I'm actually... And Ice Beam. Okay, I'm actually glad that I went with uh, Monferno, because I'm pretty sure PC God was the only one who could have uh, fought that thing without it having a, st a stab or, or and or, well, a super effective move on it. So... I don't know what its other move was, but, I mean, Hyper Voice itself was pretty scary, so, you know, it was probably something equally scary. Um, I'm about to fight some Psychic-type people, and I don't know if I want to fight using anyone who they could potentially have some kind of leverage against. So, oh, excuse me, we're going to just go for it, and hope for the best. I think, I think Soda Pop should be able to take care of these guys. A slowpoke? Oh, easy mode. Bullet seed? Goodbye. Oh, side beam. Okay. And it... You know what? That's fine. Take out one. Just deal with it there. Um... I'll take care of the spoink. Because, obviously, Chansey can just uh, take care of itself. Um... Let's go bite on spoink. Don't get double teamed. Execute's dead. It doesn't matter. And there we go. Mega Drain. Um, I don't know if I want to get Mega Drain. I think we're going to stick with Bullet Seed. Because Bullet Seed still might be the best one for us. There's a Natu out, so I'm going to Skadoodle. Uh, I can go into Kelly. Kelly will be fine. Kelly's probably our best bet, actually. Thunderbolt's going to take out the Natu. And Muddy Water. There we go. You know, actually... Um, I do like having, um, the person with you because now their team's actually, like, stacked and they're ready to just kick any ass that they need. And, Lanny, you don't need the XP share anymore since you're now at least evolved. So, we're gonna hope that you can fend for yourself for a bit. Um, I want to let Mailman take on these two Pokemon, these two bug catchers, but I feel like I'm pretty sure one of them has, like, a pincer and or a Heracross. I could be completely wrong. I am I'm I feel like I was entirely wrong to be honest with you. These two are gonna get one shotted. Or I missed the other one. Okay. You know what? That's fine. A Beedrill and a Dust Sox. That's actually that wouldn't have been too bad. Uh they both swallow my hits. So there's that. But Air Cutter and Hyper Boys will take them both out. Unless I miss the Dust Sox, of course, because you know I can't aim. Apparently. I just, I'm so good at missing Pokemon. Anywho, 
Um, I think this episode's gonna be a little slight filler, just because I think, um, if we go through this fast enough, we could very well get through Eternal Forest and then do the whole Route 216 thing before, um, we have to end the episode. And then that'll leave us time to take on Gardenia next episode. Plus, I kind of want to try to get, uh, videos going a little longer. Uh, not stopping straight at 20 minutes or just under 20 minutes. I want to try to get to... I want to try to keep it around 25-ish and, uh, see how it goes from there. But, god, these two are swallowing hits. And I got yawned. Okay, you bitch. What, what hose? Alright, Muddy Water's gonna take them out if I can hit it. Go, and I miss, and now I'm gonna go to sleep. That thing somehow managed to live on 1 HP. What, what world do we live in? Water pulse. Um, should I give up on muddy water? I feel like water pulse is just a little better because muddy water gives a chance, or uh, water pulse gives a chance of confusion. So I feel like we're a little better off with it. And just run into Pokemon. All right, look at that Shroomish. Honestly, I wish we had more chances to use Shroomish throughout the uh, time I've been doing YouTube's like you know Pokemon content, but I think we've only used a. Uh, Shroomish twice. In one case, it got killed, like, the second I brought it onto the team, and the other time, it died in the, like, it died, like, just after it evolved, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. It was, uh, Explorers of... No, not Explorers of... Flora Sky. That was actually a really good series, and I wouldn't mind replaying that, to be honest with you guys. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got there. I would have never been able to get it through by myself. Thank you so much, Nick. This is a, my token of appreciation. Please accept it. I think that's return. That is return, isn't it? Alright. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. Alright, bye Cheryl. I'm gonna actually follow you out because I don't have a really... I don't really have much of a reason to go into the, uh, old gateau. Or, is that what it's called? Old chateau. I think that's what it's called. The gateau is the food thing that heals all the, uh, you know, pro st status problems. That's the word I'm looking for. Anywho. Um, I'm going to just go do this dialogue with Barry real quick. Thud. Hey, Nick. You came to see the Pokemon statue too, right? I'll take you there. Oh, thank you. My hyperactive, uh, best friend. What the? Oh boy, Cyrus. So this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered and Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth. Its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. Okay, you could have just walked around me, but okay. You know, what, what? Cyrus, you got you got a problem. Oh, hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant idea flashed, a, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you'd never lose. You'd be an invincible trainer. That's never gonna happen. I can't hit attacks at all, ever in my life. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue. See you around. All right, thanks for that, Barry. Now, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've already said this before. The, like, the night and day versions of each song, like, or each kind of music in these games is great. Eternus City's night music is amazing. I love it. Oh, that device you have. Is this a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Oh, hello, Nick. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it is an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. Oh, cut. I love that. Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It'll let you go places that you previously couldn't go to. It's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then be lucky with you. Be luck be with you, trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Look at how like I'm looking up here where the uh, grunt is. When you go down here, the graphics kind of like mess up a little, so it looks like super just squished down and chubby. I don't know what causes that. I'm pretty sure that's like just. I think it's something with the emulator. I don't think. I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong, it could be a thing with the game itself, but uh, or how like the games are themselves, but... Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? 
Sorry to disappoint you after you've come such a long way, but the gym leader Gardenia isn't here at the moment. Gardenia went over to Route 216 to look for some grass-type Pokemon. I'm sure she'd come back to the gym if you go talk to her. Route 216 is northeast of here, Route 216. Or past Mount Coronet, I think is what he said. Incidentally, you'll likely find plenty of Ice-type Pokemon in there. As an exclusive tip for you, the Pokemon gym in this gym hate Ice-types. Thank you, kind sir. I appreciate that. I'm gonna just go skedaddle. Do I have my bike yet in this game? I feel like I start with my bike. I do. I have not been using the bike at all in this game. And it's because I'm dumb. But now we have it. And uh, I have it registered. So I'll take it. All right. Now, I, I know... The settings have been changed for this game, so you can't, like, slow it down or speed it up. So I think it's at, like, a stagnant space, and, uh, we'll just have to deal with that, but... I'm honestly gonna be using the bike for most of this from now on, now that I actually have realized that I'm just dumb, but, you know. I saw that coming from a mile away, too. It's almost poetic, really. My f the first life lost, and it's my it's my mascot. I feel like I deserved that. I honestly, I I I deserved that. I deserved every bit of that. And of course, it was a magnitude seven as well. So you know, that's just how that's just how life is sometimes. <sighs> I'm sad. That was really kind of that just kind of killed it. You know, I was going. It was th things were going so well. Things are going just so swimmingly. And now, life number one's been lost. Um, I should timestamp it. And, uh, this Slugma just got a Ancient Power Boost. Okay. Let's, let's go. Alright, episode, episode of what? What is this, guys? Like, episode four or five? I think. Like, I'm just not good at this. This shows just how, uh, god awful I am with this game. I think it's episode five or six. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's episode 5 or 6, because this is, what, week 2? And it's going up on Friday? <sighs> well, that was my bad. PC God, I really should have just switched you out. That was definitely me being a little too cocky, and uh, really just not thinking things through. If anything, that might have been a lesson to me. That teaches me, I need to not be as cocky as I usually am, especially with the amount of limited Pokemon I have. Because I'm limited to six Pokemon who all have very similar weaknesses and uh, they all only have three lives, so, you know, they can only live so long. And uh, because of me, <laughs> Monferno lives a little less long, so I will take that L. Um, I made an oopsie. I uh, should not have done that. And uh, now I can learn, you know? We shouldn't be cocky in this game. We should not be... We shouldn't think that we're going to, you know, solve every problem with our fists. We really shouldn't. I can suddenly speed up now. Why was that not working before? Why did that happen? PC God, you are the same level as this thing. We're leaving. Let's, let's skadoodle. They tried to put me to sleep, you bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I have awakenings. Go away. All right, anywho. Um, let's just... Let's try not to die right now. Let's just, let's try to survive. We're on Route 216. This is where we lost, like, some of our first mons. Oh, it's to this guy. Ooh, he has that Porygon and a Swellow. If I remember correctly. Those are two Pokemon that I'm not taking him on. No, 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 sir. That thing, that Porygon itself will wreck my team. So... I'm not playing games with the devil here, boys. I'm gonna actually just murder this uh, Smoochum real quick. There we go. Problem solved. Let's try to get Smoochum up. Oh, I have to fight you. Okay. Please don't have a Porygon. Please don't tell me I skipped the wrong trainer. Togetic. Um, you know, level 23 is not something I really like. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't really like the idea of that thing being this high leveled. So, wow, it swallowed my attack. Like, with no- with ease, really. That was god-awful. Alright, he missed an air cutter. That's fine. I'm gonna put you to sleep. You're a fairy type, and I know that. So, I'm gonna just do what I can with what I have. Now, unfortunately, 
it just used Wish, so... This thing is a staller, isn't it? Let's... Let's just stop. Let's stop this. This isn't the game I want to play, everyone. It's not, I'll be honest. I don't want to play this game. This isn't like... This isn't what I find enjoyable right now. It's gonna wish again. I can already tell. Um... So, I'm doing less and less each time right now, and that's really not working out for me. Uh, I need to fully heal. Okay. This game is gonna stress me out. <laughs> I swear to god. Let's put you to- Oh, you're a bitch. Okay, water pulse, just crit it. Ah, oh, great, okay. And now it's asleep, or now it's been, uh, safeguarded. Cool. Stay asleep a little longer than you did last time, and die. Thank you. I appreciate that. What is your next Pokemon? A Swallow. Hello. Um... Swallow? Really, I can only use Kelly. So, uh, Aerial Ace? That's not good for me. Put you to sleep. Oh... I remember this battle. I lost him on because I couldn't hit this Swallow. I remember that now. It double teamed me. And I couldn't hit it for the life of me. Wow. It's like... Life's just not fair. You know? It's just what it, it's just like what it is, you know? I'm gonna miss- it double teamed once, and I'm gonna miss every single attack now. It's a confused. Actually, I'll take that. Just hit one more, please. Kelly, Aqua Jet it. Hit it. Fuck you, Swallow. You dumb bitch. I hate you. Okay, wow, these Pokemon, these trainers. Okay, okay, we're not gonna play with fire today, everyone. Let's not play with fire. Let's get to Gardenia. Let's leave. Let's just... Please let her take us... <coughs> ...with her as she goes, uh... ...elsewhere. Yes, please, heal me. God damn. Okay. <laughs> it's cold in this area. I'm not at all prepared for this snow. Oh, hi. I'm Gardenia. I'm the Eterna City's gym leader. Hmm? What's that? You're a challenger. You're saying that you came all the way from Eterna City to find me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I love grass types, you see. I came here hoping to catch a snowfer. It's a Pokemon that's both an ice type and a grass type, but every time I you approach it, it suddenly starts to hail. I wasn't prepared for it at all. I'll have to try again some other time. Anyway, I'll go back to the gym. I'll be waiting for you, trainer. Oh boy. Do you, my fine sir, uh... Maybe if I had five badges, that would be enough. Sorry. I don't know what he's talking about. I want somebody who will, like, bring me... Okay, wait. Trainer, that's awesome. I'm trying to hone a powerful ice type technique. Not having any luck. I don't think I'm strong enough. Okay, so I think this guy wants me to come back when I have five badges, so... Let's try not to die today, everyone. Let's avoid the Porygon trainer. Let's avoid... Just every trainer that's trying to hurt me. Because I'm scared, and I don't feel comfortable. You know, I don't want to fight you, sir. You know, we're gonna have to rearrange that for next week. I don't need any more deaths this episode. We've already- well, technically, I guess it wasn't a death, but... You know, the point still stands. We- we lost a life, and, uh... You know, I wasn't really anticipating that happening so soon, but... Here we are. That's a Matang. You most definitely have some kind of Psychic-type move, so I'm gonna go into a Pokémon that can survive you, and, uh, I'm gonna run. There we go. Survive your Onslaught. A Lunatone, uh, let's leave. Now, I, honestly, PC God's fast enough to outspeed, outspeed Pokemon and run away. But, like, after he's already lost, like, one life, I don't really want to take any more chances, I'll be honest. I don't really, uh, I'm not looking to it. I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, one life down is definitely scary. And of all my Pokemon to lose, I do not want PC God to be the first one. Or, you know, one of them at all, because... Being a fire type, PC God is very essential to our team, if I'm being honest. Uh, and being our only fire type, he's incredibly essential to this team. Anywho, um, it's been 23 minutes. It's very, that's very close to 25. So, since the only other thing we can do this episode is take on the gym, we're gonna end the episode here. Now, very just unsurprising, we lost, we lost our first life. It's like the second week of the series, I'm not surprised by it in the slightest, but hopefully we're not gonna anymore. Lesson learned, don't be cocky, especially when it's a Pokemon I knew had magnitude. I knew it had magnitude, 
and I knew that I was not going to kill with Mach Punch, yet I still stayed in because I was like, either it's not going to hit magnitude or it's going to hit magnitude or it's either not going to press magnitude or it does and it doesn't do like enough damage. And then I saw it was magnitude seven. I was like, literally anything over magnitude like six was going to kill me. So I'll take the L. I'll accept that. Um, PC God, we're gonna have to be very careful with you from now on, and uh, we're just gonna have to hope for the best. So, with that, I'm going to head out of here, you guys. I'm gonna go do a little bit of grinding before Gardenia's gym, and we're going to be trying to not have any more deaths for the rest of the series. But, you know how I am. We're gonna have another death or two. Uh, we're gonna hope for the best, though. So, I will see you guys all in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button, fun to subscribe to Positive PC Party, share your friends on Twitter, PC but Master, join the Discord, links down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm PC Bloodmaster, and I'll see you guys next time!